Hello everybody, Star Urk here, and the 2022 Oscars are next weekend, which means it's that time for my annual Oscar showcase video. I've been making these since 2019, actually. I'll link the playlist to all of my Oscar videos at the top of the screen. The first two years, I made minifigures based on the movies nominated for Best Picture. Then last year, I changed things up and made minifigures based on the movies nominated for Best Animated Picture. And this year, I decided to go with Best Visual Effects. I tried my best to make characters that use visual effects in their respective movies. For example, I decided to make the Iron Spider suit from No Way Home because it's completely CGI in the movie, but I struggled to come up with a character from No Time to Die because there aren't any CGI heavy characters, so I just went with a classic James Bond. This intro is getting very long, so let's just get to the minifigures. First up is Paul Atreides from Dune. This is his armor that he wears in one of his visions. That helmet is from Zori Bliss from The Rise of Skywalker, and underneath that is just a plain pearl gold head. That shoulder armor comes from Thanos from Mighty Micros, and then his torso and leg pieces are from the Atlantis War warrior minifigures from Justice League, but I replaced the arms on the torso with DJ Beatbox's arms from video, and I gave him pearl gold hands. Next up is Dude from Free Guy, and thank you to Marvel Master 805 and Julia Cruz for suggesting that I make him. I got his hair from one of the bank robbers from Spider-Man Homecoming, and then his head is Victor Crumbs from Harry Potter. That torso is Beach Batman's from the second Lego Batman movie CMF series, but I replaced the arms with Mutant Leaders, also from the Lego Batman movie, and then his legs are from a Rebel Trooper from the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack, but with plain tan hips. I also put an Azure tile under each foot to make him a little taller and to represent his tennis shoes. Here is James Bond from No Time to Die. His hair is Mr. Incredibles and his head is Newt Scamander's. His torso is Cedric Diggory's from the Yule Ball, but I replaced his arms with penguins from the Lego Batman movie, and then he's just using plain black legs. Next up is Razor Fist from Shang-Chi. His hair is from Dean Thomas from the first Harry Potter CMF series, and his head is a guard's from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. His torso is from the official Razor Fist minifigure, but one arm is Wonder Woman's from the DC CMF series, and I also replaced that hand with Azog's hand from The Hobbit, and then his legs are from the Death Star Gunner minifigures from Star Wars. Oh, and I almost forgot he's also using Jafar's shoulder armor piece from the second Disney CMF series. And finally, here is Spider-Man from No Way Home. I got his hair from Riddler from the Batman, and his head is from Zombie Hunter Spider-Man from the Marvel CMF series. His torso and legs are from the Iron Spider minifigure from the Infinity War Sanctum set, and then his neck attachment build is from the comic book version of Iron Spider. Alright everybody, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for videos I should make in the future, please let me know down below and I'll give you a shout out if I use your idea. Anyway, come back on Thursday for another cool video. See you then.